Hey, Brian from Dr. Mahal. Today I have an X-Tool Advancer and it is an OBD2 dongle which basically plugs into your car, SUV, truck, uh, basically any modern vehicle that you have. So let's open up see what we get inside. So that is it. This has got to be one of the smaller OBD2s that I've seen, which is good. So it's nice and compact. So this is your booklet, and it works in conjunction with your smartphone or your Android. So these are your directions. Pretty easy to follow along on what to do. So there is an app, so you have to do that part. Just follow along in the directions. Pretty easy to do. So uh, anyway, let me uh, load the app up on my phone, and we'll go plug it into one of my vehicles, and I'll show you how it works. So. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're outside and we're gonna take the OBD2, the X tool, and we're gonna plug it into my 2018 Acadia. And the plug-in port is here. And most cars may vary. So we're gonna get in and turn the car on. Okay, so you can see the check engine light is on there. So let me connect to... So while it's connecting to the device, make sure that you obviously have your car started. And then it's going to give you some detailed information about the vehicle. So you're going to hit pair. Confirmed. So, and then we are going to, since we know we have a check engine light, we're going to go into trouble scanning. And it will tell you basically faults found. So we're going to hit check now. Okay, so basically it has fault details we're gonna hit that and it's going to be basically the p042 catalyst system efficiency below threshold and critical level two and then the cool thing about this so if you think it is a fault by mistake so that check engine light what you can do is you can clear all DTC codes So it's basically going to want us to turn off the vehicle. And then we're just going to hit start. To turn on a vehicle. So we're going to hit. So the command has been sent. So we're going to start the vehicle again. we get the That cleared the check engine light, so that's good. So what we can do is we can go back in and then basically do an, like an in-depth check. So this is basically going to go through an in-depth check to check everything. It's going to check the vehicle information.
So it's communicating with the engine control module, the transmission control module. Steering and braking system. So safety and comfort. Let's check in your miscellaneous. So basically anything that has a microchip on here, it will check and talk to. So let's check out default details. Front display output signal human machine interface control. So we're going to clear that. And again, I like how it asks you permission to go through and Okay, then you can go into your application center and then you have a whole bunch of diagnostic tests that you can do. DIY corner, vehicle maintenance and stuff. You can go into live data. So you can get a lot of current data, like so, tell you your engine RPM, coolant temp, remaining fuel percentage. It'll tell you what your battery voltage is. So if your car is running, it'll tell you what your alternator is putting out. Engine load. So basically, it's kind of like idle, so it's only using 20% of the power. Then you can go here and hit some more sensor data. And you can check off basically kind of like what you're looking for. So let's say you wanted to just check engine coolant temp you hit next and I'll tell you what that is so that's your coolant temperature in Celsius so you can uncheck that and then if you wanted to go into let's see what else we have air intake temperature then I'll tell you it's 31 degrees Celsius and then you can go back check that off and then you can do all your different fuel trims time sink engine start fuel rail pressure which is a pretty handy one. So you have 4100 KPA. So that comes in handy to help you diagnose if you have like any injector issues or fuel pump issues. And then you have your like your catalyst temperatures. So you can go in there and see the efficiency of your cats. So 490 degrees Celsius. I mean, it's, this has so much data. It is. It's like so much. Okay, uh, maximum value oxygen sensor voltage. You can go in there and you can check that out. Obviously, it's giving us a zero rating right now. And then, so yeah, where you can do basically all, hit next, and then I'll give you real time data that you can scroll through and you can see all I mean, you can see how everything is just populating as you go. So, I mean, this is like really in depth. And that just gives you a list of all the different diagnostic tools that you can go through and use. In a small compact sen sensor, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So, anyway, that is that. Let's go back out. They can do like different like performance tests. So you can do that. Smart dash. Trip management. So you can keep an idea of what you're doing every week, monthly. And then it has this maintenance light reset. So depending like if you have uh, you know, oil reminders, uh, change your oil, or if you have any other little system checks, you can do a start maintenance. So it's running a maintenance scan on everything. 
So it's all like an all-in-one button on there. So you can do like auto resets. Again, it just goes through all list of vehicles on there. So that's a whole nother area that you can go through. But yeah, I mean, it is absolutely filled with all sorts of information on there. And then you can do, again, live driving data. So if you're having an issue that comes up that only presents itself while you're driving, you can have a passenger look at this while you're driving, or you can have a pa uh, you can have somebody drive as you become the passenger, and you can go through all those data. So if there's something, a unique troubleshoot that you need to do while the car is actually moving and on the road, you can actually do it with this. So super handy. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.